Oh, so I just got in all day long. To, oh, sorry. VA. It's at the VA all day long. I don't even know what time it is right now. Uh, I, had to get, I, I had to get some meds that I had left the other day. Anyway, I had to get some meds. Right? But, um, oh, no, no. I had to, something I had to do. Let's put it that way. And I was supposed to be there at like 10 o'clock. Because of whatever miscalculation, I was there a little bit late, and it didn't get pushed late, and blah, 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 blah. But phew, things got done, but man, goodness gracious. Oh, Ooh, let me go in my bag and see all the stuff. Oh, here's my pack. Let me, oh, sorry about that. What happened? Okay. Um, But I had a good time at the VA. Let me put it that way. In fact, let me put my, let me put my glasses on. Let me put some glasses on so I can look official. I can look like, um, you know. I say, a celebrity. <laughs> you know, we're in the days of celebrity, you know, and pretty soon they're going to be able to, to trace your trace your genes to your celebrity. Um, but you know what I did? Uh, one of the, I, I, that's the thing, I had to pick up a new blood pressure uh, monitor. Let's put it that way. So I got a new blood pressure monitor. So now I have one in uh, Africa. I have one in St. Louis. And oh, we're trying to get this for some reason. And my sister's a nurse, right? And she ain't got no blood pressure down there. She ain't got no cough, no monitor down there. What the hell is going on? Only goes to show if you're a cobbler, you you know, you know what I'm talking about. So I got a new, so I got to keep my monitor going. And uh, this can stay in the, I don't know what's going to happen. I think I have another one up in New York at Buddy's house. I'm not really sure. Um, so I had to do all that. I got all that stuff. Um, but you know what happened? Um, I, uh, I'm trying to look for something here. I don't know what I'm trying to look for. I actually brought my other phone out. I got, I got a, I got another phone. This one I use. Here's my thing. This phone here has a, a WhatsApp that's just for certain people, right? Also, this is the phone I use for like when I'm, when I'm interviewing over the phone, like I'm, I'm out of the country, something like that, or whatever. I, I was like, launch it. It's, I, this is the sound I use because this phone here that I'm recording on has the better camera. Now, this is a OnePlus 6. That's a OnePlus 7 Pro, whatever it is. So that camera is much, 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 much better than this camera. So that's how that happened, right? But here's what, oh, so oh, here, they, they take your temperature every time you come in, right? They take your temperature and then you can walk around because it's, like, it's Thursday, you know, so it's, it's Thursday. And I'm like, cool. They say, hey, psh, you can go, you know, you can go through. But they also give you, even though I had another mask, they give you a mask every time you come in. You know what I mean? So, hey, use their mask. Why not? You know? Socialized medicine. <laughs> anyway, uh, so what am I going to tell you? Oh, oh, that's, here's the big thing. So I was there and I signed up uh, because, um, somebody, I, that's another reason I had to go. And somebody called me and they wanted me a part of this program. They got this, uh, uh, I registered this program, uh, Million Veterans Program, right? And uh, it's like a survey. It's like a thing they they chart to, to to detect things like you know, with your lifestyle, blah, 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 you got cancer, all the rest of stuff. And this would help other veterans. That's the spiel. That's the spiel. I don't, don't, don't tell me about it. Now the reason why I like the help face. Let me just say this, right? Uh, Donald Trump said something very interesting when he was there, not going to this to the grave or something like that. And he and he said he wondered why anybody would volunteer or would you know go to fight in the war. They don't even know what it's about. Something like that. People got upset about, of course, along with that, he was he was saying something about, you know, he ain't going to the mice grave, whatever he said, right? You know, Donald, you know, he be doing this stuff, right? But you have to understand, Donald, he has a truth <laughs> that he tells, but right away, he wraps it in, uh, you know, how do you know how the spies do? They got a thing, right? And they hide it. They wrap it in all kinds of truth and deception, right? Yeah, well, other truths, alternative truths, if you will, deceptions and lies, whatever. So you're too busy, you know, trying to get through the quicksand of, of lies and, and you don't hear, you don't, you can't really hear his truth. He's saying you should, basically he's saying nobody should be doing war unless you, you know, you got some sort of reason that's, that's personal, you know what I mean? <laughs> and this whole country thing ain't, ain't, ain't a personal reason. Anyway, so, so for me, especially when I was in the service, I mean, I knew about Agent Orange in the service. When I got out, when I was doing my, my radio program at, at, at Livingston, at, at, at Rutgers University, um, at Rutgers College, I say, on, on campus, I was at, Livingston College is all part of Rutgers University, and but the broadcast station was at um, was at Rutgers College proper, proper uh, RSU, right? 
And one of the first things I did, I did a, a PSA for for Agent for Agent Orange and for vets and stuff like that. Now remember, this is this is before the this is before the the, the, the volunteer army came about and the, and, the, and, the, and military wasn't doing nothing for vets, especially Vietnam era vets, right? So for me, uh, a lot of times when people got roped into stuff like that, they they're young, they're like you know they they're like 20, 18, 19, 16, 17, 18, 19, you no. Know, 2021 what do you know then you know and so they be doing stuff and then they get into the thick of things and then they realize they realize and uh so i have a I have a thing for for vets right so if this is going to help vets but i think yeah yeah they might have some other agenda i understand that you know but the main thing, main thing is helping vets i'm there you know so this is going to be a worthy program it's a whole whole long long thing i got me this whole thing i gotta do whatever with right but at the same time, this was started like, I forgot when it was, 2000, I don't know, say 11, something, something like that, 10, something like that. But they had another program that they piggyback off that, that the NIH or, you know, whatever, um, where basically, this is for the entire nation. I think you can, it's called All of Us Research, research Program. Everybody, let me take these guys. I'm sorry. Everybody's Health is, tells a story. Why yours? Now, remember, here's another thing when I was, put back on now. Want to stay famous. When I was when I when I was a lab tech, I realized that when they have these norms, you know what I mean? They call normals, right? But all the normals back then, at least, and I guess they haven't changed that much, but I guess they are changing now. Were based on say a a a, a, a white man, say white man, a Caucasian, a European kind of thing from say the the thirties and forties. You know what I mean? So a certain height, certain weight, that that kind of thing. That there was all the norms. So if you was a, if this thing was said, said, said it was a normal. Well, that's normal for that type of person. There's a lot of other people on the planet, so it wasn't normal. You know what I mean? So this thing sort of helps to change that. I guess they've been changing anyway. So, so that's what I'm really concerned with. But um, so they got this little brochure, environment, lifestyle, biology, you know, and again, you know, they, but this is mainly vets. So in vets, they always have, they always represent with vets, you know. So like, like since they have the sister and they have the old vet, they have the, somebody looks like something else to get the, the white lady, right? And they always have a, a, you know, a black vet. Now, you learn know, notice the advertising today, right? Black men don't appear. They, they always like, if they have, the, they put a, they put a sister there, right? They, black men, they trying to race for the planet. I don't know why. It ain't going to work. I'm just telling you, it ain't going to work. Anyway, um, so this is very interesting because this is a gene project. Um, uh, the program is to learn how differences uh, and might lead to a different type of treatments all the rest of that stuff. That's what they're saying here. But it's a gene project, which also means that they're going to um, they're going to do your 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 ancestry. Ancestry is part of this thing too. Now, I purposely have not done any ancestry. First of all, I ain't gonna pay nobody. Okay, but here's what really I, I haven't done the ancestry because I know where I come from. So how do you know, brother? The, you you ain't got the scientific evidence. You know, they ain't take your blood, blah, blah, blah. Now, remember when they first started, they didn't have a whole lot of data. So if you had some, they might not include, I don't know, Inuit <laughs> DNA, so they couldn't put that in, you know what I'm saying? So, but I when I started to travel, I sort of did a middle passage backwards, right? Uh, I started, uh, well, first, I, I, my first thing out of the country, yeah, officially was sort of Panama. Now, Word has it that my daddy was a traveling musician. This is conjecture because this is one I seen with my mama, so we don't know what's happening with that. That he was a, a traveling musician, uh, so, and, and he maybe came from from Panama, Cologne, Panama, because all along on those coasts right there, you have to you have to uh, get from the people, you know, or got from how you want to say it, but you have to get from the people because they were the part of Raritan Island, then they spread up there from Belize down to down to uh, well, uh, Raritan Island, Honduras. And then down to uh, uh, Nicaragua and then and and, and uh, Costa Rica, all the way down, all the way down to Venezuela, all along the coast. These are fisher people, and they look like me. Now, um, so so anyway, uh, 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 so when I started to travel, I was there. That's the first place I was. So that gives me a hint. I uh, because I, I I walk by faith, not by sight. But I'm I'm connected with the universe. Believe me in this. You don't have to believe me, but I'm telling you, right? And you know, I traveled so but I, I did end up, I did go to uh, um, uh, um, uh, 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 Guatemala. My first trip was to Guat Guatemala, and I was trying to get down to Nicaragua because we was doing something. We was sending some poetry down there, you know, from from PAI for my Ray for Normal Radio. We sent poetry down to a sister station down there because I think the Lower East Side 
had a had a relationship with Bluefields uh, Nicaragua and and uh, Chris Brandt, who you know we was a poet and we we do poetry every like uh, once a month and send the, send the tapes down. So I wanted to go down and check them out. That's why I took this trip. Or well, things got whatever whatever. I ended up going to to Belize and which since I was there, I ended up doing a whole audio documentary on all of those from you know from, from Belize City to down to uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Dangaliga, uh, uh, Same Bite, uh, uh, even into Georgetown, you know, which is the in it's unusual for Griffin because they're they're fishing people. This is a farming community, right? All the way on Punta Gorda, uh, 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 um, um, my favorite place on the planet, Barranco, Belize. All, all, all the way down, I did this. I did this uh, audio documentary. I went to these villages and I talked to the historian. Every village had a historian, and and so I talked to them, talked to the man, then I talked to some people like that. I had a really good extended uh, audio documentary on 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 that on that little thing. Anyway, when I was there, oh, here's what, this is interesting. I'm walking down the street one time, and somebody just yelled, I know who your father is. So I'm like, yeah, right, you know, I kept talking about it, whatever it is. I think we even had a little conversation, but you know, you know how people are. And then another time I was coming, I, I went to uh, I went to uh, Barranco a lot of times. I went, I walked through over the river. I took lunch there. I went through a, I, like four or five times because I loved this place so much at the time. It was like only 350 villages. You know, it's like the electricity was only like three hours a night, that kind of thing. It was great. One time I was coming in, I was coming in by boat, by launch. And uh, and a kid ran. This old man was ran. He says, your, he said, your grandson is here. Your grandson is here. That kind of thing. One time I was walking in, in Punta Gorda and the guy just started talking to me. And he says, I know how you can make sure a woman falls in love with you. And he gave me the secret. I ain't telling you. <laughs> oh, it's a secret. The elder, the, the old, yeah, I guess he was the elder at that. Well, he's a little, you know, an older guy told a younger guy the secret of how to make a, how, how to have a woman fall in love with you. And I, mm -mm, lips are sealed. Nobody going between. Hey, sh sh I want to tell you something. <laughs> he was right. Ah, just okay. Um, so 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 I feel like that was it. Now I've been to, like for instance, when I went to Jamaica, I didn't feel anything. Right, went to Cuba. Wow, you know what I mean. So this is all. Now remember, Jamaica. Well, first it was uh, Cuba was the port where the the the, 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 the you know the the the. the the ships that had the captives went first, and then they changed it to Jamaica, right? So I've been to both those places, and I feel more uh, uh, Cuba, but I don't know, you know. If you do the Griffin thing, then, then obviously I didn't go. My 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 uh, uh, what do you call it? my uh, paternal side didn't go there because they had to go to St. Vincent's and then get kicked off to the to the uh, you know, to the to that coast there. Okay, so I was in there. I, I had an incredible time in Belize. Yeah, well, Belize, right? But I also uh, went through, um, I went to uh, Brazil. Very interesting. W connected to Brazil like nobody's business. All kind of spiritual things, all kind of things. Praying in the slave, slave church, in the blue church in in, um, in, in Bahia. Right? And I, I prayed a certain way. And when I was praying at the altar, right there was a three in the flagstone there. It was a three. Three is my number. It's all kinds of interesting things happen. And then I've, and then finally, it's like I said backwards. And finally, when I got to, um, when I got to, uh, uh, I'm losing my thing. I see it right, Dakar. <laughs> I want to say synagogue, but I want to say specific. Dakar went to Dakar on this trip, right? That was amazing, and I really felt it there. I see people look like Then I had this incredible experience in Gori Island, right? That I definitely, in fact, I almost got, almost, I almost got. I almost got taken out, but I shouldn't say that. My some something was grabbing me. I can't. I, I went through this whole lot of thing. It was amazing kind of thing. I interpreted later as this that my ancestors gave me back my humanity because up to then I was very tough. I mean, oh no nonsense, hey, amen. Yeah, that kind of thing. But it was really interesting. I mean, I cried. It's oh man, I'm telling you, I was possessed. Yeah, this is unbelievable. I won't go over it now because it's been recorded some other places. Maybe I'll find whatever it is. Um, so my my whole trip back, so I know where I come from. Okay, I'm certainly. So, but this thing, eh, they want the fish. They say, but brother, you know, they gonna take that the, the DNA or whatever it is. You know, how do you know? They might just think say as soon as you say you're black on it, right? Then then the future thing, they might say, say 
get a thing where, you know, they, they, they take your DNA, you're gone or whatever have you, but they put it in somebody, something like that, then they be a criminal, they arrest them ahead of time, you like, like, like minority report, the whole thing, you know what I mean? I understand, I got you, but guess what? I don't think, <laughs> I don't think the force gonna be here long that, that long to do all that stuff, right? That stuff is gonna, I don't know what's gonna happen. This is why I'm gonna stick around. I have projected, now check this out, mark my words, as they say, I'm going to live to 129 years old. Dun, 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 boom. Yeah, and I'll be playing drums. I'll be doing all kinds of things because I, I constantly evolve. Was well, nearly fully said, I'm constantly learning. When I say learn, I'm constantly doing and stuff like that. I do this whole Miranda thing to tell you stuff because that's what happened at the VA today. That's the insight that I got at the VA today. Plus, ooh, you know what else happened? I posted this on Instagram. This is great. You know, so the, the food places, you know, there's a food place that staff goes to eat, whatever happens, and sort of cut, cut, cut down, like leave the Asian part, you know, where, where I usually get my, my salmon, but I used to eat that all the time. But, but the other thing with the brother, he was still there, but they had a special gyro. I love gyros, especially gyros that are made with lamb. I'm a lamb guy. In fact, I, love, I do my lamb chops as I get my fat, you know, I do my lamb chops. You know? I'm not into beef. I'm not into where and I can you know, well in South Africa, you know, you, you can see what they what animals, whatever. You don't you know they're not whatever, you know what I mean? But I'm not really into the beef anyway, you know what I mean? I will do uh, sa sausage, just they have just great sausage in Dimbaza. <gasps> Dimbaza sauce is just the best. And everybody think and they're trying to I said, No, my sauce when they taste Dimbaza sauce, they say, Whoa. And I'm moving to Dimbaza anyway. Okay. So anyway, I say all that to say I had a great day. <laughs> I love having them hanging out at the VA. So it's just a thing that I do, right? And, I, and it's socialized medicine. You don't like socialized medicine? What can I say? All right. So I checked you all later. Just a little you know, info, a little rambling from me, T, from the Patterson Signature Train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.